Namaste. I'm Aparna, your mistress of manifestations, and welcome to your dedicated reading for relationships, romance, and love this week. How are you doing, my darlings? I'm sure all of you are fine, healthy, very loved and secure. Now, these are general messages, my friend. Not everything here will resonate with you. But if it does, I want you to claim it 100% without putting one drop of any kind of a doubt in your heart. Your individual zodiac sign readings are already up for every single month. Just go to my channel and check out the playlist. And I post one dedicated reading for Korea and one for love, exactly like this every week. So that you get an energetic heads up on what is coming towards you. Plus, mini three card readings almost every day on a myriad of topics. Okay. I always want you to be on the forefront of the energetic, what can I say, race that we are in. So that you know what to do in every single situation. This is my intention. Now, I'm going to take many messages for you back to back to back. I'll clarify the messages as and when I need to. You just be open to believe and you shall receive. Take what's yours. Leave the rest. Are you ready? Now, these are timeless readings. I don't know when you're, when you're coming across this reading. I know one thing. There are no coincidences. When you've come across it, it's the right time for you to find this message. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to start with this deck. My friends, Chakra Oracle deck. Let's see what the general energy is. This could be about you or the person that you're dealing with. This could be somebody brand new coming towards you. We'll see. Thank you. For love, relationships, romance. Thank you. Now. I have dissipating here. Now, this is somebody who is sitting at home, relaxing, not doing anything, spending time watching Netflix, sitting with their pet. Sounds like me. Um, and it's a solar plexus. So the solar plexus is about self-worth. It's the Manipura. It is the, that part of your body, that energetic coil in your body, those bundle of nerves, which when they fire correctly in unison, in tandem with the rest of you, your self-worth is on point. You are willing to go and push yourself, assert yourself. I don't know if somebody has made you feel like this, where your self-worth is being questioned, where you almost feel like doing nothing, just sitting and watching TV. Now, I don't know if it's affecting your health. And I just want to give you a heads up. If you've dealt with somebody who has eroded your self-esteem, who has made you feel lesser than, it's time to remove them from your life and recharge yourself. Use this color yellow. Sun. Turmeric, lemons. I don't know. Wear the color yellow. Something to recharge your batteries because somebody has literally caused you to feel like a leak in your solar plexus energy. In that energy that is life-giving, the sun is exactly that. Now, the sun energy, which is, a, which is the Manipura, it is the fifth house. It is Leo energy. It is about the heart. It is about creative projects. It is about things that you love. It could even be a pet. Have some of you lost a pet? I feel that too, okay? That may have caused some kind of a, you know, emotional disturbance or some kind of a melancholy or, you know, a feeling of depression. Well, I'm telling you, all this is going to leave your life. And if, if there was somebody that you thought was your pet for life, or perhaps you have somebody here with whom you spent a lot of private, fun, sweet times together. Because the Leo energy, the higher vibration, my friends, is romance, flirtation. And that has left your life. And it is causing you to be in a depression. Channel this energy of your Manipura to your benefit, the higher vibration, use the sun energy, eat stuff like lemons or add turmeric to your food, wear the color yellow, engage with this energy, okay? Somebody has sucked you out of life-giving force and do not allow people to do that, okay? Do not. You know, while the sun can be very good, when it pierces the ozone layer of the earth, it can cause destruction. I want you to always channel the higher vibration of an individual so that you always benefit. So, but it's not always possible, right? We will engage with a lower vibration. We ourselves are, do, are made of two halves, you know, duality. 
But just make sure that when you compromise and you choose to deal with somebody who has a lot of lower vibrations, that those are those vibrations that you are okay to deal with and it doesn't affect your physical vessel. We all have to compromise. There is no perfect individual. They do not exist. Once you do get all that perfect, your only energy is stampy to bounce. Okay. Now, the next wisdom. Now, this is the heart energy, Leo energy, Anahat. Okay. This is the energy of love. Some of you are receiving wisdom from a passed on loved one or from somebody older to you about a love matter. Or if you are looking for answers, approach them. Is there a guru, a teacher, a mentor? Could even be a family member that you trust. Somebody who's older and wiser, who's probably gone through a lot of these things that you are going through right now. Please connect with them. This could even be a passed on loved one who's wanting to connect with you, okay, and give you guidance because this is giving you answers, you know, and for some of you, if you reconnect back with your heart, you know, even if you place your hand on your heart, touch the earth with your bare feet, sit in the sunlight, ask a question, close your eyes, listen to the sound of the waves. If you have a child, sitting and smiling next to you, you hear their laughter, birds chirping, anything peaceful, or if you have something nice to listen to, you will receive your answers. And that answer will come from a place of quiet and peace and calmness. It is your higher self. It could even be a passed on loved one who finds you in this state of balance and is able because they're just energies, right? They don't have the body. The body falls. They're able to connect with you and you can channel their answers. They will give you the answers that you're seeking for, the wisdom. And remember how to know the difference. I've, I've put up a video on how to engage with your intuition. That voice is calm, peaceful, and quiet. It is never angry or chiding you or making fun of you. Uh, that's not that voice that I want you to listen to, okay? Mysticism. Now, this is very eighth house. It's very uh, scorpionic because the eighth house deals with such matters, with the occult, with black magic and white magic. We, me, you, because you're watching me, we're a part of the light where we deal with light. Our source is that. It's a soft, sweet voice. It is not something to manipulate you into doing something. That is all dark. Okay. And this for me is the 12th house, Pisces energy. And with this chakra oracle deck, this is your shahasara, your intelligence. I don't know if there's somebody dealing here with an individual who is very much steeped into black or dark magic. And I, you know, it gives me no joy to deliver this message because it really affects me. You know, we live on a realm of duality where there is light, there will be, there will be dark. I just want you to know one drop of light dispels the dark. So even though you feel spiritually attacked by somebody, and this person could have mental issues because the shahsara is intelligence, correct? Your intellect, your brains. The power of your mind, the lower vibration, arrogance, ego, mental issues. I don't know, but you could be dealing with someone like that. And I want to give you a heads up on that. I also wonder if this dissipating of your energy is a result of their BS. I just want to give you a heads up. When people do these kind of works, okay, where they engage with the negative realms, it's all there around us, coinciding, you know, colliding with our, we all sandwich, it's all happening. Time is linear. There are millions of dimensions opening, okay? And if some of you do not believe in what I'm speaking, just go and look for this recent U.S. Uh, Senate hearing, if I'm not mistaken, where people are talking openly about UFOs and aliens and other dimensions. I'm telling you they exist. We are not the only people here. I can give you a guarantee on that without any doubt in my mind. So when people connect with other realms, any of us can. But like I said, we are part of the light. We choose to connect with light. That's our source. 
these realms that you open the door to, sometimes you may not know how to shut them. So when you connect with the dark and you open that door and they work for you for a short time and then they ask for their payment, oh, really? <laughs> that's what is called karma and it goes back. Let it, let it. I just wanted to know if you felt a sudden sapping of your energy. Somebody could have done some dark work on you and I want to give you a heads up. When it goes back, they have no control, no jurisdiction about how much of that I want back. It just goes back in a huge, it's like, you know, you've, you got a little piggy bank and now you can store money in it or BS in it. When you break that piggy bank, it comes out. So either you're going to get your karma, your karmic payout, backlash, or you're going to get your dharmic blessings. If you have opened portals which are dark to engage with them, to get immediate results, to hurt somebody else, oh boy, when it comes back to you and asks you for the payment and it gives you the bill, you can't tell them what you want. It's going to give it right back to them. So do not worry. Now, I don't know where that came from. Somebody is going through it. Sense it. So let's go on to your next message. Comment below. Let me know what you're going through. I want to hear from you. I also put up many three card readings every day, my friends, if you want to go and check them out. Okay, let's go. It's your first card. It's a good card. It's for relationships. Just this week, not forever. One more card. Thank you. Got it? So I'll first give you a very clear message that somebody's pretending here. Either they're pretending to be your lover, your soulmate. I don't know what they're pretending, but they're fake. And I'm telling you, they're putting on some kind of a... You know, when I see this, I know it's a clown, but I also think of war paint. Um, these two cards are very, very stressful for me <laughs> to read. But hey, you know what? When I do my readings, I wanted you to know something that... I want you to take it as you watch the weather report. You never get angry with the weatherman or the weather woman saying that, hey, why did you tell me it's going to be raining and storming and there's going to be thunder and lightning? No, you take an umbrella or you choose not to go out. I want you to take my readings in the same way. Whatever comes out good, I'm going to amplify, send it to you. You grab it, yank it, claim it. But what is not so good? Don't be angry at the messenger or at the message. That's where the power is, my friends. I want you to take that message and if it is playing out in your life, I'm giving you the story ahead. Forewarned is being forearmed. Now you know if and when this hits you, how you can minimize your damages or two. And this is where I want you to focus on because this is where the real power is. You can avoid it. The weatherman has said there's going to be a thunderstorm. I won't go out. I won't go out. I'll be at home watching Netflix. Do that. Okay? This is how you use the tarot and astrology. Now, Somebody is selling their home or moving locations. I don't know who this is. Something is coming to light. Some awareness is coming. Somebody could be realizing that they have a soulmate and they're going to move towards them. I, I sense this. Now I'm going to clarify each of these cards and I want to first start with that threatened, embarrassed appearance. Is there somebody who's keeping up appearances here? Is it going to crack? Of course it is. Okay, the death card. Awesome. Doing Scorpio you're dealing with. And you know, I told you before when the mysticism card came out, it is very Scorpionic because while the higher vibration, okay, is the esoteric science is used for good, there could be somebody who's using it to create endings in other people's lives. Huh? They can never create a literal death, let me tell you that. The universe won't allow that and nor will your guardian angels and your past on loved ones. They're not just sitting there and, you know, uh, I don't know, having skittles and rainbows. They're watching you. They're protecting you. Connect with them. Ask them to help you. Somebody's facade is going to end. They're not going to be able to keep up this appearance anymore. You're going to find out the truth about somebody. Listen, this ending that you're going through with someone is going to put an end to the BS that they've been doing, to that paint that they've been wearing on their faces and pretending with you, my friends. And if they've been trying to do some dark magic with you, that is going to come to an end too. And I, I don't want to say this because it's, it's very negative, but 
they've definitely tried to bring about some ending in your life. The dark magic. It's not going to work. That itself is going to end. And with the ending card, there's always a rebirth. But whatever damage they've caused to you or your physical body, you're going to have a rebirth of it. You're going to be a brand new baby with all your organs shiny, brand new, like a new car, glistening and shining, ready to go. Two of wands. You know, someone here has almost turned their back on someone. And I know this. They were sick of keeping up appearances. And once that, you know, once that mask cracked and you saw the real face, you felt threatened by them. And this person has threatened you. And they have threatened you that they're doing this work on you. And so I'm so upset. It's going on. Do not worry. You've turned your back. You stay here. Correct. Turn your back on the situation. Let this ending happen. You're saving your, you're saving your life, I heard. You're saving yourself from a lot of problems, physical problems, because this person has threatened you. They have been pretending and they have, I think somebody has felt threatened here that they have, they're going to use some kind of dark magic to bring about some kind of an ending in your life. They've threatened you with that. You've turned your back on that. Congratulations. And you know, the Scorpio energy, which is the eighth house, is also a very deeply sexually, emotionally charged relationship. So that was the flip side. That's the facade they gave you, but that was fake. And when that paint came out, you saw that real monster. Let's see what this is about. Again, pretending. Okay. Five of wands. This is a lot of conflict. Five is a number of imbalance, right? This card talks about a lot of fire energy, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And this talks about either a lot of competition that this person had, or you felt that you were competing with a lot of people. I also wonder if you felt attacked by a lot of people. And let me tell you, you may have had to deal with somebody who has a bunch of people doing stuff. I don't know who this is here. Why do I get this message? It bothers me, but even though it bothers me, I have to deliver it because I don't want to miss out warning someone that this person has a lot of people creating chaos in your life and they're either pretending to be your friend or they're pretending that they are, you know, going to bring about abundance. They are not. They are threatening you. Uh, they're threatening to bring about endings. Are there more than one person involved? I'm so sorry to say that, but it's the truth. Please take this message with a pinch of salt. If it is resonating with you, do not ignore it. The Queen of Pentacles. So minor arcana of the Empress. Uh, Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Businesswoman, woman of the world. Somebody who has everything in the material world. A lot of money. Opulence, elegance, businesses, properties. Somebody who's very much in the 3D. Money is very important. Status is very important. The right car, the right person. Also very diligent, a hard worker. Somebody who's created and fashioned her life. Money, she has created that with her hands. But it's a queen. It's not yet an empress. Okay. One more card on this. This could be somebody you're dealing with male or female, or somebody who's creating problems for you. Five of Cups. This is somebody who cannot get over a loss, but this is also someone who's tired of the competition and the conflict and tired of pretending. And I know this, they're tired of this pretense. They cannot do it anymore. And it's, you know, that card pretending has living above your means. Perhaps this person has taken a huge hit in their finances. And they never wanted to face this. I hope somebody has not created someone to lose a relationship because of their dark magic. I'll take one more card. I don't know why that message came. One more card, please. That's okay. Yeah, it's in a marriage. Somebody did cause a marriage to end by using dark magic. 
I know this. Because the Hierophant is about marriage. It's a card of Taurus. It's a second house. It's about things of value. It's about your self-worth, by the way. And that's why the dissipating card. You know, somebody has caused a marriage to end because, and they're threatened that they will cause this marriage to end. They've also caused financial losses for them. Terrible. Now, this is somebody who is of the church, you know, very religious, very all this pious. Eh. Well, they were pretending. Or they could have the backing of the church. I don't know who you're dealing with, man. I just want to give you a heads up. I'm glad it's over. I just want to tell you that. Um. So also, this person could also have the backing of some huge organization or the government behind them. Huh? So somebody who pretends to be very orthodox. Uh, very old-fashioned. They're anything but that. Take one more card. Somebody's marriage has definitely been, there's been spell work done on somebody's marriage cause and ending and they would they were threatened that they would do it and they've done it. Terrible. King of Swords. This is air energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is very much Aquarius, very much Libra energy. Intelligence. Intelligence. Very smart. This could be somebody who has got, who has brought a legal, uh, has legally also ruined someone or got some kind of a legal case against somebody. Very intelligent person, but very cold, very cold, very rational, you know, boring, dry, super intelligent. Person. I don't know what they have done because I have a queen of pentacles, somebody who's got money sense and this person has got legal sense, could be a police. There is an ending here. And a lot of fighting and a lot of interference. And my heart goes out to you. But I'll tell you what. The interference that you faced was not just because this person was causing fights. There has been some kind of weird energetic in interference by somebody. Somebody has a family of people, you know, threatening to end a relationship. And they have done it. You know what? If that's what they let. They, listen, I know it's upsetting you right now. The Five of Cups is not fun. You are in depression, but I'm telling you, these were fake people. They were they were threatening this for a long time. I'm I'm glad you've turned your back. I I know it's painful right now for whoever this somebody is going through this, and my heart goes out to you. But you were dealing with a bunch of spiritually corrupt people, and there's a bunch of them. It's not just one. I don't know who they are affiliated to. Let's see what this is about. Spirit gave some messages for this car, selling their house and moving. I'm glad you're physically moving away, my goodness. Look at the cards coming out. Okay. I have the five of wands. Okay. I have the five of swords. Some of you are leaving struggle, strife behind. You've dealt with somebody who does not have your back. You've dealt with a family situation where people just want to come at you with that sword and cut you. They've used their words. They've used legalities. They've betrayed you on multiple occasions and you're sick of it. Oh God, please, spirit. Yeah. This is, this is a marriage. Ten of cups is a marriage. Look at these energies. You know, somebody didn't want you to be married to someone and they have destroyed your marriage. Goes out to you. My heart goes out to you. But you know, you're going to find out because the realization card is here that the person who you thought was supposed to support you was also a part of this. And I'm so sorry to say that. Some of you could have children, perhaps two kids, twins, or two kids. Queen of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, more Aquarius and Libra, just like the King of Swords, very cold. You know, I don't know who you're dealing with, yeah. Intelligent, cold, rational, knowledgeable, justice loving, bipolar, mentally unstable, angry, revenge, hungry, um, the woman scorned. Somebody's going to slap legalities on you and is going to joyfully go to court every day and sue you. It's that energy. Ah, angry, very angry, vengeful. This is, could be an ex. I'm glad you, if you're selling your home and moving away, 
excellent. Use the sword that this person has cut you with, with their words, with their actions, with whatever to sever ties because you're, you're, you're dealing with a bunch of people who are just terrible. And I'm so sorry, but I, like I said, I am not, I'm not going to sugarcoat the message. I have the card of realization coming to light awareness. You can find out all the bullshit, sorry, all the BS that they've done now. Ace of Pentacles. You're going to find out about a brand new start. I don't know if this person is offering this to somebody else or somebody is coming towards you. And this is a brand new opportunity to start something very stable. And this is coming to life. Dimension. I also feel you're going to understand why some of you have had financial losses. You're also going to find out somebody was only about the money and nothing else. And it's a whole family of them. I don't know who they're affiliated or associated with. At the Pisces energy, this part confusion. See, when I speak, my friends, I've told you, I think before, I don't know. I will give you the higher and the lower vibration. You do your best to engage with the higher. Pisces, spiritual connection, about surrender, about sacrifice, you know, about always finding another perspective, taking a break cooling off, you know, it's hanging. It's taking a break, you know, just hanging in there, finding your answers and then taking action because this is the last sign, the 12th house in astrology and the first is Aries, which is go, 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 action. There's Neptune rule, lower vibration, confusion, delusion, illusions, wearing those fake rose tinted glasses and pretending, confusing you on purpose it's a house of your hidden enemies it is also the house of jails and prisons mental institutions confusion wanting too many people not knowing what they want somebody has confused you created confusion i think somebody has tried to even mentally create a fog in your mind because this also deals with mental institutions huh? they have used something to give you a mind fog like, you know, what they call a brain fart, where you don't know what you're doing anymore. And you wonder why. I'm telling you why. You're walking away from this. I love this. I know you are here right now. You're going to leave the situation because there's something better. I love this energy for you. You're going to get rid of this. You know, this could also be somebody dealing with a lot of secretive, you know, connections because realization is clarity. And the Pisces energy is confusion. I don't know. And with this glass here, I don't know if somebody here has drinking issues. Huh? Neptune rules water and the waves. I just want to put this out there as well. You're finding something out and you're leaving it because you know there's something better for you. And I'm telling you there is because your last card is a freaking soulmate card. I don't know why I'm getting angry. Sorry. You're going towards a soulmate. I want to put this out there for you. I don't know who this is going to resonate with. I don't care. I'm going to put this message out. It just upsets me when this black, dark magic messages come out because I, I get tired of, you know, wondering. Uh, there's so many gifts you can use, you know, of all the gifts. Channeling your Ajna is one of the most precious gifts we've come as human beings. And yet, we choose to connect to, I don't know. Anyway, whatever it is, it is what it is. Now, don't worry, but I told you, I gave you a whole spiel on that, my friends. Let them. It has a very short shelf life because it goes back to sender and they have no jurisdiction as to how hard or how much they're going to get back. Karma is alive and well the last time I checked. Now, I'm going to tell you some of the zodiac signs that could be coming towards you so that you know who you could be dealing with this week. Okay, you ready? Pisces. You know, you could watch some of these zodiac sign readings. Of, this is, sorry, why did I say Pisces? This is a fool. Aries. Listen, you have two cards of Aries. Huh? For me, this is a brand new start. It's the first house. It is a brand new start. Now, let's talk about the fool. This is an energy of somebody taking a huge risk because they are sick of a situation. In most decks, this is an individual jumping off a cliff into the unknown, but they cannot stay there. It doesn't matter where they're going. And usually they're taking something with them, which is very precious. It could be your self-respect. It could be a child. 
It could be a pet. Somebody has felt like they've been taken for a fool. And they're going to take a leap of faith towards their beautiful future. And you've turned your back on something. Or is there somebody coming towards you in this energy who has been made a fool of in their life, taken advantage of? And they are willing to take a risk and to come towards you. It's beautiful energy. This is brand new energy. Okay, new. Just born. <laughs> Few hours old. It's lovely energy. It's, it's upbeat. Okay, grab it. The emperor. Let me tell you, there is somebody coming towards you. Or you could be dealing with this person this week who is very emperor-like, regal, royal. They could be older, you know, a bit of gray. Uh, somebody who's created a lot of wealth, prestige, and honor in their life. It's not that they've, you know, just breathed and passed through life. They have a lot of experience. Their resume, their life resume is filled with ups and downs. And it shows you what they've created with their own grit, their own guts and glory. And this is somebody who's very well established. They could be renowned. Low vibration, a bit of arrogance bit of cockiness, a bit of controlling. But apart from that, I do not sense anything negative. There's somebody who will give you love. The love department, emotion department, a bit weak. Sex, passion, money, stability, protection. My God. You can't question them on that. Or you cannot, you know, what can I say? Say that they were deficient in that. This is good energy coming towards you. And have the chariot. This is that home moving energy because it's the fourth house. Um, it's about the mother, it's about the home, buying a new car. Um, this individual could be moving towards you with the proposition to move in with you, or this is somebody who has made up their mind to create movement in their life. They could be moving in a locality where you stay. This could be somebody from your past, somebody who's very carry, very caring and nurturing, very mothering, beautiful energy. And they have, you know, taken charge of the dark and the light in them. The duality which exists in all of us are the Purush, are the Nari, you know, bad and the good. And they have integrated that and they're moving forward, integrated, not fragmented. And they made up their mind and they're coming towards you. There's somebody from your past. Then have a Sagittarius, Wheel of Fortune. This is somebody who's a foreigner, could be in a foreign country. Um... So somebody who could have worldwide fame, could be a teacher, could be a guru. This is somebody who loves to travel. They are ending some cycle because, you know, when the wheel of fortune turns, it is like the, the, either they've been waiting for the wheel to turn in their favor so they can leave a situation. But this person has had some kind of an ending and a successful completion of a cycle. They could also be somebody who's just been awarded something. I don't know. But they're ending a cycle and they're coming towards you. And I'll take one card to clarify them. Now, for both these cards, the Emperor and the Fool, this is Aries. So I'll take one card on this. Aries, fire sign. So I have a fire sign, two fire signs. And I have a water sign is coming towards you. Okay. You know, spirit really loves to play with me. I have the Emperor and the Fool and clarifying it is the Emperor. There's nothing else that spirit wants to add to this energy. It's exactly what I've told you. Yeah. Now. It could be an emperor who's been made a fool in their life and they're coming towards you. This chariot. Who is this cancerian? One card on this individual. I have the Leo energy. They could be on the cusp. With Leo, it's beautiful when major arcanas clarify major arcanas. For those of you who know tarot, then I know the reading is on point. From the, I mean, what are the chances from this this whole deck of cards, 78 decks? It's my Illuminati deck. Where is the cover? If I can find it. Sorry. Can't find my deck. Sorry, it's right. Okay. This is the deck for those of you who want to know. So this is somebody who has waited. You know, they've patiently waited. You know, they, 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 they've controlled the beast within them to come towards you. I don't know why. Huh. There's somebody who has had the strength to wait for you. They've had to control something in them to rush towards you. And they have. Now, I also wonder, just get this off my head, it's, it's too tight. I also wonder, okay, if this person, I mean, they have a lot of Leo in their chart. 
and they could be on the cusp with cancer. But I also wonder if somebody was controlling them or if they were allowing some thing to manipulate them. I don't know why I feel that. Because there's a woman here trying to manipulate a lion, a beast. I also feel somebody has has really done their best to control the beast within them and to come towards you. They've controlled it. But they're now, like I said, you know, like I said with this card, they have assimilated the good and the bad and they're, they're coming together, integrated and they're moving towards you. It's good energy. See who this Sagittarius is. I want one card. It's good. It's good. This Sagittarius, you've had a lot of fights. Either you know them or they are someone who are who is ending a cycle where they have been betrayed a lot of times they're ending a cycle they have waited for some ending of a fight i don't see when the card of sagittarius comes up just a wheel of fortune it is also about legalities because jupiter rules that i wonder if this person has ended a karmic cycle with someone the wheel has turned in their favor and they have fought a legal battle where they have felt betrayed and then they're coming towards you i sense this i don't I, i'm not i don't think you know this individual yet as in i don't think you fought with them some of you may have but the loudest message i'm getting is they have had a legal fight on their hands and they're ending that and they're coming towards you beautiful now i'm going to end your reading but I am going to take some angel oracle cards for you to see what spirit wants to tell you before I say goodbye and shukriya for your beautiful energy and your time. Please comment below. I love to read your comments. It helps my channel and I will respond to each one of you and send you a huge burst of positive energy from every fiber of my being. Promise. Yeah, can I tell them before I go spirit? Come out. Hold on. Wait, now if I can pick up that card. All right, please get up. Okay, sorry. The first card is Archangel Raphael. Now see if you know, and it's angel therapy, not Raphael. Rafa is healing. I-L is of God. It's like the healing of God is upon you, my friends. We mending a broken heart. Angel therapy. Archangel Raphael, give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. Drop any burdens that you've been carrying, whether it's of a relationship or it's of the destruction caused. I think it's a mental destruction caused because of the ending of a relationship. Give it to your angels. They'll carry it for you so that you can walk light, shine bright. Sensitivity. Archangel Haniel, you are extra sensitive at this time. You have a lot of emotions right now. Please handle yourself with care and your feelings. Honor them. Now, when this word sensitivity comes out, it is very Pisces. So, I know some of you are feeling why you are energetically sapped. Somebody has, you know, worked on you in a negative way. They have used negative forces to attack your life force and your light body, your prana. It's all right. Raphael, the healing of God is available to you. Let that burden go. You will be healed on a spiritual, energetic, mind, heart, and body level, completely rejuvenated and sent back again on this earth as you are, as a baby, as you were just born. Do not worry about any damages that has happened to your mental health because of somebody else's shenanigans. Compassion. Compassion. This is Archangel Azad Gale. Soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved, including yourself. Some of you are blaming yourself. You knew the red flags. Perhaps you saw bits and pieces of somebody's, I don't want to use those profanities, but BS. And you still continue because somewhere in your heart, you wanted it to work out. There's nothing wrong with that. But then when you get the last red flag, and you know what I try to tell people, the last red flag that 
the universe gives you is always help. And I'm telling you, just remember my words. So when that red flag comes, you cannot avoid it. Some of you have got that red flag where you felt your energy being sapped, you felt sick. That's when the universe is saying, listen, my friend, cut this out. And you've seen that. And the universe is telling you to forgive yourself. You didn't have bad intentions, but you had to face that, yeah. And it's okay, Raphael, the healing of the angels, the God, source, creator, whoever you believe in. I'm not talking religion here. You could be believing in your pet who has passed on. Well, the Raphael, the angel will come through that. I'm just telling you the protection of a power bigger than any of us here is protecting you. Whatever that source is for you, I'm okay with that. Now, indigo and crystal children. Very rarely does this card come on. I think some of you have many kids or some of you are going to be joining your families together where you're going to have your kids and their kids together. This is Archangel Metatron. My God, you have a bond with children. Hmm. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. I don't know if some of you work with autistic children. Or if some of you work with children with special needs, or some of you have children who have special needs, you know, they're called children of determination. And let me tell you, the world does not even understand 1% of them. While you may think that some people may think they are an anomaly, I am telling you, they are, we are the anomaly because we don't understand them. Anyways, these children, if you have any who have you know, special needs, they are your source of power. And they have come with the program, believe it or not, to help you. And I'm giving you a guarantee, spending time with children or people who are childlike, infants, pets, animals, nature, is going to lead to a rejuvenation of your light body. And with the indigo and crystal, there's something about the color indigo. This is your Vishuddha. This is your Ajna and crystals. If you thought, you know, I've, I've put out, I don't know if I've put it out yet, a mini three card reading about blessings where I'm talking about people wearing crystals. And if you thought about dealing with crystals or wearing them, do it. Like I wear the Neelam, you know. Um, it is for, it's for Saturn. It is what well, you call it, the blue sapphire. I wear it every single day and I've been wearing it for the past, I don't know how many years of my life. Start wearing it. There's something about that. Find out the one that suits you. You know, they like they say, keep it under your bed. See what happens. Test it. Connect with your higher self or with a guru who can give you guidance. And it will help you. Because we are made of earth. We come from the earth. And these crystals are from there. And they have amplified powers. And when they touch our body, it's a connection that they form. And then when the sunlight comes and you go out and about your day, that's when you the magic happens. It's a way of connecting, okay? With something beautiful, you know. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. All of us fall there. <laughs> Six feet under. And then we are reborn again. So we are made from earth. So that's why things which are natural, whether it's cotton, it's linen, it's crystals, they always create an aura of healing or abundance for us, depending on whether they suit us or no. But I can tell you one thing. If you get the right guidance, they can always, always help you. So these are your messages for relationships of any kind for this week. I want you to use this information and manifest a fantastic love-filled week ahead. I want to say shukriya, dhanyavad for your beautiful energy, for your time. From my anahata to your anahata, I want to give you love, peace, joy and blessings. I love you. Namaste. Bye.